In this video, we're going to learn how to implement our own version of the strp brk function that's found in the string.h library in C. So the strp brk function returns a pointer to the first occurrence of a character in one string that matches any character found in another string. So first, let's test out the official function that's found in the string.h library. Up here, we'll include string.h. And then down here, we'll create two car arrays and store two strings in them. We'll have here car string is equal to, and we'll store the string string with vowels into this car array. Then we'll create another car array called vowels. And in this car array, we'll store the string made up of the uppercase and lowercase vowels. So we'll have AEIOU and AEIOU, both uppercase and lowercase. Then we'll use these two strings to test out the strp brk function. We'll try to find the first occurrence of one of these characters here in this string here. In other words, the first vowel in this string. Now the function is going to return a pointer to the first occurrence of one of these characters in this string here, which is going to be this lowercase i character here. So what we'll do is create a car pointer variable to store the return value. We'll have here car star first vowel. And we'll store into that the pointer returned from strp brk when it's called with string and vowels as arguments. So we'll get a pointer to this character here. And we can output the string from that point onwards, which is going to be ing with vowels. So here we could have printf rest of string colon percent s to output the string and then backslash n for a new line and we'll output the string from the position of first vowel onwards so if we save compile and run the program we get here ing with vowels and that's how the official strp brk function works let's make our own version of this function now we'll have here car star for the function return type, because the function is going to return a pointer to a car. Then for the function name, we'll have underscore strp brk to make our function's name a bit different. Then we'll have here for the two parameters, const car star str1 and const car star str2 for the pointers to the two strings. We use const because we're not gonna actually modify the strings in this function. So we can copy this and then put our implementation of this function down here. And the first thing we'll do is make sure that str1 and str2 are not storing the value null. So they could be storing the value null if we're using dynamically allocated memory and somehow some memory didn't get allocated because there's a bug in our code. So this is a bit of defensive programming. Now the official strp brk function has undefined behavior in the case that str1 and str2 are not pointing to valid strings. So this is something that we're deciding to do for our implementation of the function. It's not something that we're required to do to implement the function. It's also not wrong to implement this either because the behavior is undefined. So here we'll have if str1 is equal to null, or str2 is equal to null, we're going to have the function return null in this case, which could have the effect of preventing the program from crashing. Because if we try to access the value pointed to by str1 or str2, when str1 or str2 is null, the program may crash. So next, we need to find the first character in str1 that matches any character in str2. We'll use a loop, nested inside a loop, to do this. Now, str1 is a pointer to the first character in the string that str1 points to. If we have str1 plus plus, what this will do is use pointer arithmetic to have str1 point to the next character in the string. So if str1 initially pointed to this character here, str1 plus plus would then have a point to this character here. We can use this to traverse the string. 
Now, star str1 will give us access to the character that str1 is pointing to. So if str1 is pointing to this character here, in other words, if it stores the memory address of this character here, star str1 is going to give us the character lowercase t. That's called the dereference operator, and we can use it to access the characters in the string. So next, we can make our outer loop that's going to go through each character in the string that str1 is initially pointing to. So we'll have here, while star str1 does not equal the null terminator character, so all strings in C are terminated with this special null terminator character, and we're going to be using str1 to go through our string one character at a time. And here we're saying, so long as we haven't yet reached the special null terminator character, we're going to continue. And in this loop, with each loop iteration, we're going to increment str1 by one to advance it to point to the next character in the string. Now, eventually, we're going to reach the null terminator, and at that point, we're going to stop. If we go through the entire string and we never find any character in str2, in that case, we're going to return null because that's what the official strp brk function will do. Now, in this while loop here, we want to look at the character that str1 is currently pointing to using star str1. We want to see if any character in str2 matches this character. If it does, we can actually return str1 because str1 is going to be the pointer to the first occurrence of a character in the first string that matches one of the characters found in the second string. Now, in order to create an inner loop that's going to loop through the characters of the second string and try to find a match, we're going to want to create a temporary pointer variable. So in the case of str1, we're just going through this string one character at a time. And for each character, we're trying to find a potentially matching character in this string here. Now to go through this string here again and again, we would need to reset the pointer that points to the character that we're currently looking at to the first character in this string each time the inner loop runs. So down here, we'll declare that temporary pointer variable. We'll have const car star temp. And what we'll do is with each iteration of this outer loop, we're going to set temp to point to the first character in the string that str2 points to. We can now use temp to again and again go through the string that str2 points to in this inner loop. So here we'll have while star temp does not yet equal the null terminator at the end of the string that str2 points to, we can keep on advancing temp. Now in this loop, we're going to check to see if the character that str1 currently points to is equal to the character that temp currently points to. In other words, if the character we're examining from string one using our outer loop is equal to the character that we're examining in string two using our inner loop. And in this case, we found a match and we can return str1. Now str1 has the type const car pointer but the function has the return type car pointer. So we're actually going to do a type conversion here. We'll have car star to type cast str1 to the expected function return type. Now up here, we can call our version of the function. We can have underscore in front of the function name to call our version of the function. So we can save, compile, and run the program. And now we get the same answer as the official version of the function, ing with vowels. So this is how we can implement our own version of the strp brk function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.